welcome to the date bag activity. So go ahead and grab your date bag. You got mine right here. And what we're going to need today is the tennis ball container and tennis ball and ping pong ball. Go ahead and put your date bag away if you don't need it after that. What we're going to do today is we're going to bounce the ball and try to land it in the tennis ball container. So what you're going to do, take the tennis ball container, open it, and all we're going to do is grab, just take one ball out of it, and then we can probably put that off to the side because we're not going to need it quite yet. Okay? And then you're going to take the ball and we're going to try to bounce it on the table and land it in here. Now you can see I'm not too far away. I'm only like, I don't know, about a foot away. All right, so I'm just going to try to bounce it and land it in the cup. All right. We're going to bounce it. Oh, and if I miss it, I just go pick it up. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to time it for one minute. It's kind of like a Mr. Whip's challenge here. And see how many times that we can land the ping pong ball into the tennis ball cup. All right. One minute. Here we go. <laughs> See if you can beat my score, okay? Now, to make it a little bit more challenging, if you want, instead of the table tennis ball, we can use the tennis ball and see if you can bounce it. It might be tough on this table. But see if you can bounce it and try to get it in there. You might have to hold the table, but it might be tough. Oh, okay. But just for this challenge that we did today, you can just use the ping pong ball. If you want a more challenge, try the table or the tennis ball. And again, when you're done, we got to pick everything up. Put my cap back on my tennis ball container. Got my ping pong ball or table tennis ball. Put it back in the bag. Close her up. Put it so I know where I can find it next time. And then you're done.